Okay, first time uh, filleting a chain pickerel. He's nice and cold because we had him on ice in the cooler. And I'm really excited to uh, see what their structure is like and also to uh, see what they taste like. I'm liking the color of the meat, very much like pike right now. Feels nice and firm. It does have Y bones. The Y bone should be close to the lateral line. So I'm going to flip it this way so that I can go right underneath the fin. I want to keep a nice fillet, just like that, all the way to there. You know, for a little guy, we're getting quite a bit of meat here. Yeah. Over again, just to do this part right here. So I'm gonna do that, and look at that, nice fillet. I don't know, where is that? Oh yeah, they're here. I can feel them right there. So we're gonna deal with those in a minute. Let me do this side. You know, I've never been one to take the whole side of the fish off and go into the body cavity. It's just the way I learned how to fillet fish. So I go down and I go around the rib cage, not right through it. Yeah, I just heard those Y bones. You can see I'm trying to save all the meat. So I'm trying to go really close with my knife angled towards the spine. Man, they have those nice gold colors, beautiful bars. I mean, with meat looking this good, they gotta taste great. Well, here again, I'm gonna lose that um, belly meat. I can't believe they used these guys for bait years ago for the mackerel. I don't think the mackerel would care. They would uh, eat them. Okay, so now, just get the scales off. A few bones right here. So let's see here. Yeah, I feel them. So they have wide bones like a pike. Here, look, you can see see the Y bones right there. These little lines, those are the Y bones. Usually the Y bones get closer to the back at the front here. So you see them right there. And then at the back, they get a little steeper. And they go past where the body cavity ends. So now I'm gonna go down the lateral line. I'm being maybe overly cautious, but I don't want us or anybody else that might be enjoying this fish to get any bones. I might even keep that Y bone strip and cook it because I don't mind taking the Y bones out. They pop out real easy once you do the fish. So, these guys weren't very big, but you know what? It's kind of a nice fillet there. You'll see in a minute here. I've just gone through the skin, which is okay. Because that's the Y bone part. So this is where the Y bones are, right in here. And this should be boneless. So, go from the back. This is a really sharp fillet knife. I should be doing this on the edge of the board, but I started in the middle. I guess I'm gonna finish it. That's why you need a flexible knife so it'll bend to go over the skin. Okay, so it wasn't that hard to remove the Y bone. So this is what we, we're dealing with here. Look, we've got um, a nice strip of meat here. So that's without the uh, Y-bone. And I'm gonna do that the same other fillet and then the other fish. And then